I sold all my dividend stocks. So no more Carreras, no more 7.35% preference share. Well, at least for now, that is. But don't fear. I have reinvested that money back into some dividend stocks that will have some great dividend yields. They will have consistent cash flows and they will also have a great potential for growth. And that is basically my goal right now for the stock market. So in this video is going to be a dividend update, a series that I do on the channel every year just to showcase how my dividend payments are growing over the years. But first, for those of you who are new to the channel, you're probably wondering, who is this guy? Well, my name is Demetrius Fearman, and I'm just a regular nine to five worker like you, using my income to flip into different income streams so that I can afford the lifestyle that I'm guessing that we both want if you're watching a channel like this. You want to be able to afford a really nice house to have your family in. You also want to go on vacations, maybe Monaco, Greece, Italy, you know, and maybe watch some F1 races with that money. And since we're talking about cars, we probably want a couple of super cars and then that nice family minivan to take out your family now and again for some road trips. You know what I'm saying? So one of the income streams or one of the methods to gaining that income even when you're sleeping and it's an easy method that I'm using right now is called dividend investing. It is going to take a while and money has to grow and compound but before I even go further into the dividend method you're probably asking the question what are dividends? A dividend is a reward paid to shareholders for their investment in a company's equity and it usually originates from the company's net profit. So simply put, a dividend is when a company makes a lot of money and they decide to share that profit with you. That's the dimmy definition right there. Now it's time to channel my inner Graham Stefan and drink some coffee to boost up my energy. Ah, oh, when you put it in that perspective, what is your life worth? The first dividend that I received was on January 19, 2023, a total of $104.52. And that was from the JMMB 7.35% preference share. And you're probably wondering, how did I receive dividends and I'm no longer holding this stock? Well, it took a while to sell off all those shares. So I have a backlog of dividends from them. So yeah, that's what caused everything. <laughs> so you're probably wondering what is the preference Sure, what is the JMMB 7.35% all about? The JMMB 7.35% preference share is a type of security issued by Jamaica Money Market Brokers, JMMB, that pays a fixed dividend of 7.35% per year. So think about that as an interest payment of 7.35% per year which is great. It is a preferred stock that has priority over common shares in terms of dividend payments and claims on assets in the event of a bankruptcy or liquidation. So there are two types of shares on the market. You have common stock and you have preference shares. We're focusing on the preference share. If you're a preference shareholder, then you have preference to receive your money in case the company goes under bankruptcy or liquidation. So that means if that company is no longer operating, then you would receive your money before the common shareholder. And the common shareholder, the only advantage they have over you is that they are eligible to vote for any changes that should happen in the company. Another advantage of the preference shareholder is that you receive your dividends first and chances of your dividends fluctuating rarely happens. Now you're probably asking, what was his reason to sell this? If he's getting 7.35% a year on his money, why has he sold? Well, I saw a better opportunity on the market and I never had no cash. <laughs> and I wanted to jump on that opportunity because I thought in my head, yo, if I'm getting this and this percentage per year, it's clearly more than this one. So let me just sell and take that money and put it in something else. Be not surprised. If you see me come up with another video next month or next year saying that I still have or I re-entered into the 7.35% preference year, it is still good returns. And being that they issued this preference year at $3 per share, and if the price is lower, then I would buy in at a lower price because there is a chance of capital appreciation once the market bounces back. So I would get capital appreciation plus dividends. So don't be surprised if I'm 
re-entered myself into this preference here. But as of now, I don't have it in my portfolio. Now for the second dividend pair, I received this dividend on March 7, 2023, and I received a couple of payments from them. One was 1,400 Jamaican dollars, the second was $481.25, the second was $802.08, the third was $80.21, and the fourth was $1,540. And they were all interest payments from Bondberry, Mayberry Bond. Now, Mayberry is a financial institution based in Jamaica that offers a range of financial products and services, including investment banking, asset management, and securities trading. They offered four bonds. They started at 9.25% and matures in 13 months. They also had a 10% which matures in 18 months, an 11% which matures in 24 months, and a 12% which matures in 36 months. Basically, depending on the bond that you buy, you will get the quoted interest rate per annum for the timeline. So let's say if I had invested $500,000 on the 12% bond, then that means I would get 12% per annum for three years. Now, in my opinion, with my risk tolerance, I think that this suits me very well and it is in line with my portfolio. Another question that you may ask is, what is maturity? To understand maturity, you need to know three terms. The borrower. Man, why am I can't say that word? They're just so weird. <laughs> Fully don't. Um, in this case, that person is going to be Mayberry. The lender, me and you, which is the investor, and then the principal. That is the amount that you lend to the borrower in this case, which is Mayberry. In a bond, maturity refers to the date on which the bond issuer, which is the borrower, must repay the principal, which is the amount, the original amount borrowed to the bond holder, which is the lender. At maturity, the bond reaches its full term and the issuer must pay back the principal to the bond holder. So to summarize, whenever the bond gets the maturity, you're going to get back the initial amount that you had invested. The third dividend check came in on April 3rd, 2023, a total of $13,635.42 from Mayberry Bond Tranche Three. By the way, they have the bonds in four tranches, tranche one, two, three, four, which is 9.25%, 10%, 11%, and 12%. And these bonds pay quarterly, so you're going to receive four dividend payments per year. Fourth dividend check, a total of $1,163.62 on April 13, 2023, was from Dollar Financial. Dollar Financial Services Limited was incorporated in Jamaica in two. 2009 and commenced operations in October 2014. The company is a subsidiary of the private equity investment company, First Rock Private Equity Limited. On June 15, 2022, Dollar Financial Services was listed on the Jamaica Stock Exchange following a historic IPO that was 9.5 times oversubscribed. We Lend is a part of Dollar's ultimate goal to provide progressive financial opportunity to those with a vision to succeed. Now, this is one of the stocks that I have a long-term growth goal for. They are the new guys on the block when it comes to microfinancing, and they are growing very fast with a bright future ahead of them. By the way, here's a quick summary of their first quarter for this year. Now, Dollar Financial's total income of $297 million in the first quarter was a year-over-year -year increase of 156 million or 110 percent the company recorded net interest income before expected credit losses of 249 million a year over year increase of 120 million or 93 percent driven by the growth of loan sales and the loan portfolio i'm not going to read everything about their financial status so if you want to know more about them you can just research the company on the jamaica stock exchange or go straight to dollar financials website and look for the investor relations section and then you can see the annual reports or the quarterly reports. The fifth dividend was a total of $674.48 paid on April 13, 2023 and this was from Grace Kennedy. Now GK is one of those companies that I think has potential for capital gains. The stock 
price is currently around $77 and coming from a high of around $100, I think they have potential to grow as soon as the market smooths out and gets back to normal. Therefore, I'm slowly building up my position in this stock and in the meantime, not so bad to get some dividends while I wait. Now, the sixth dividend that I received was a total of 7,350 Jamaican dollars. It was paid on April 20, 2023 and it came from the Mayberry tranche 4 and be mindful that is the one that you have to hold for 36 months and it is tranche 4 and they pay 12% per annum. The seventh dividend now was a total of $2,111.14 and that was paid on May 11, 2023 and it came from SVL Supreme Ventures Limited. So I'm sure that we have a lot of football fans here and what I saw most in the World Cup wasn't the goals or the amount of people watching but the amount of people who went to just bet. The amount of people that I saw was lining up to buy their tickets and making score predictions and talking about all the odds. That was what got me excited during the World Cup. So I was saying, look at all these people just dumping money into my company. That made me even more of a believer in the potential of this company. So I decided to invest more in it. Also recently, I was invited to Caymanas, which is where they race the horses and just the, the electric vibe and seeing people having a good time and a bad time. But more importantly, the amount of people who were betting, I just saw the potential in this company. Also with them planning to establish themselves in Ghana, the potential is huge because once they try to conquer Ghana, then that means they're going to go to other countries within Africa and you know how Africa big. So <laughs> they're going to have a lot of new customers and a lot of betting going on. So I can't wait to see what happens with SVL. So before the ship full up and left me, I'm going to try to jump on it right now and, and, and then just reap the benefits maybe like a two to five years down the line. And now the final dividend of $961.78 paid on June 16, 2023 was from GK. That brings us to a total of $30,304.50. Dividends are grow. Let me see how it goes for the rest of the year. I'm so excited to start about this dividend update on the channel and hopefully we can get more dividends so we can release more videos, more consistent dividend updates. So who's willing to join the dividend journey? So the thing that works for me and the strategy that works for me is being consistent and that is dividend investing. I don't have to worry too much about price fluctuations, just steadily investing in these stocks over the years, build up my position so that in the future I can get an income from these stocks without selling. Because I can't keep up with these traders. I prefer to just put my money in, leave it and get the dividends and eventually these dividends will cover my lifestyle, they will cover rent, they will cover light bill, water bill, internet and who knows, maybe sometime in the future, it can cover groceries. And that's the goal, to get some passive income to earn money in my sleep. Anyways, thank you for like, sharing, and subscribing to this channel. But if you want to be a part of the Future Millionaires Club, meaning you won't miss whenever I upload these videos and drop these gems or tutorials, then make sure to ring that notification bell below so you don't miss an update. Until next time, Work hard, make money, and happy investing. Psh.